just Maybe. Let, <laughs> let everyone know uh, what it is that you've created and you know why you started it. Yeah, definitely. Um, so basically, when I was, I got injured uh, at, at Macclesfield Town, right? And from that point, I went back home. I had to get a couple of other operations, and I was going to be out for at least a year. And so, um, in my city, it was just like anytime I'd go out, if I went out with friends or with family. Like at the end of the night, you see crowds of people stranded with no ride home in minus 30, right? So that's Celsius. I think it's a similar, uh, when you translate minus 30 Celsius to Fahrenheit, I think it's close. Okay. Um, Still very, very cold. Freezing, in, freezing. Incredibly And cool. uh, <laughs> people would wait over an hour for taxis. If it was a holiday, you could wait three to four hours. Um, so people would walk home, you know, it might take over an hour to get home, but they would walk in these temperatures or they would drink and drive. And I've had friends who have passed away from like getting hit by an impaired driver. Also have friends who have been behind a wheel and like killed someone. So it's a pretty, pretty serious thing. And um, I started giving people free rides, but couldn't put a dent into these like crowds of people. And I just thought like, this is a problem that shouldn't exist. There was no Uber in my town. Um, and I just thought like, okay, I have this time off from soccer. I'm getting these operations. I'm going to do my therapy, rehab, everything I have to do. Um, but I think it can fix this problem uh, for my city, for my hometown. So we got to work. We launched this rideshare company in my city and um, I knew nothing about business and it was chaos. And uh, it was like, yeah, pretty insane. And then it turned out to be a much bigger problem in like smaller communities around the world. There's like over a billion people living in smaller towns. A lot of them don't have access to reliable transportation. Um, so yeah, we're basically... Um, that's the company. It's uh, an app you can download. It's called U Ride, and um, you can click a button and get a ride. We had to learn a bunch of new things to operate in these areas where companies like Uber and uh, other rideshare companies traditionally like don't and have a have, have a really hard time doing it. And another cool thing is like in in business, the majority of things that we do I actually took from soccer. So everything that I learned on all the different teams I played on. Um, the different coaches I've had, I just like take things from these experiences, throw it into business and it's been working out. Um, and I think another thing too, is like yeah, the, the lesson soccer teaches you as well, just the drive, overcoming obstacles, dealing with like a thousand different problems along the way, which most players that have played professional at some point, like you're going to deal with a crazy number of obstacles. So um, I think that drive and that like tenacity, tenacity, can be applied in other things after your career. And maybe that's coaching. Maybe it's other things in the soccer world, like you said. Um, maybe there's other things that you're passionate about that um, you can <laughs> kind of use that to, to go into. Another thing I noticed too, that just for people listening to this, um, when I got to Europe, one thing that I, I was a little bit surprised about was um, like a lot of players, you'll train, you'll do your stuff with the team, and then like players will like play video games for a lot of the day or, you know, go have dinners and just hang out, which nothing wrong with it. I guess you're recovering, but there's a lot of time that gets wasted. So yeah. if you're doing everything that you can training on your own, doing whatever you need to like, you, you know, like identifying your weaknesses and constantly trying to improve them and improving your strengths. Um, even after you do all that stuff, you might have like an hour or two hours a day where some people watch movies. Some people do things with that, like that. For me, I, I just didn't want to put any time to things like that. So I put it into solving this problem for my city. And now um, now we're like launching a bunch of other cities too. Hopefully, that is hopefully so cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I we could already see that the dedication you had throughout your soccer career obviously would translate into your, your business career. And um, even you're planning ahead and you're planning – of these workout plans for the future and for months ahead. Uh, I'm curious what, you know, your plan is for the future. I'm sure you have, uh, you know, something set up and I'm just wondering what, you know, the next step is that you're, you're looking forward to right now. Yeah. So right now um, we're launching more cities. So we're in 10 cities at the moment. Um, there's 18,000 cities, uh, you know, that we're looking at, right. Yeah. So there's, it's a massive problem around the world. Uh, so yeah, for us this year, our goal was to be the best in the world at launching these markets that we're going after. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we're making a ton of progress on that. We're learning a bunch of things and like as a company and 
yeah, we'll just keep launching cities. And after we become great at launching these markets, there's going to be another problem, another area that we really, really need to improve throughout the company. And we'll shift the whole company's focus to that. So similar to like, it actually is really similar to, to sort of the path that we took, in, like, uh, I took with soccer, right? Mapping out all your weaknesses, mapping yeah. out what you need to improve, um, what your strengths are, and then just going and executing and getting it done. And then, doing it again and again and again yep most definitely so do you feel like your passion and drive is shifting to you ride or do you think there's still something left within the soccer industry for cody in the future well honestly i'm super passionate about you ride right now and like building a team and all the people that are working with us and, and solving this problem so it's kind of strange for me that it it has shifted um I won't say that there's not something like left in the tank for soccer. Uh, yeah. Right now, I got got to get healthy and recover from another another hip issue. But um, yeah, I, I'm really excited about life right now. I'm yeah, excited about that's business, awesome. Yeah. Soccer. I'm definitely going to go back and, and visit my old club as well as other ones and um, see all the people. And if yeah, as far as playing, we'll we'll see what comes in the next uh, couple months here.